So, when we put the new brake line on, the, uh, the bleeder valve snapped off the caliper, so now I have to put uh, new calipers on. So we're going to try and use the 30-year-old Sears Industrial. Take these lug nuts off, but I'm not so sure it's going to work. <clears throat> Try the breaker bar and a jack handle. <clears throat> no dice. When in doubt, get a bigger hammer, right? every step of the way. Now I need to get this thing jacked back up again. Got the new hose on, and that broke. We still got plenty of meat left on the pad. The rotors feel okay, just rusty from sitting. <clears throat> I am not sure what to do about this rust yet. My thought was to sandblast it, but I don't have a sandblaster. So, at minimum, it's going to get a good cleaning. But, yeah, <clears throat> this is today's project. Master cylinders and a brake cylinders and a master pump. Here's, I'm having a brain fart. not even sure what to call it. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can get this out. I'm sure it's going to be as fun as it was to get that wheel off. There's got to be some bolts on here somewhere. I can't feel where. But they're going to be on there somewhere. I'll look at the new one. See if I can figure it out off that. There's got to be something holding this thing on. It slides here. Which doesn't look like it's going to slide because it's all rusted up, so it's probably a good thing I'm doing this. But I don't feel any... I don't feel any bolts. Just these slide clips. Maybe these come out? 
suppose if we took those out, it would fall right off, wouldn't it? So here we have... Okay, now I can talk. <clears throat> we have the new caliper. the right one. Yeah, looks like I got the right side. <clears throat> Comes with new clippies. And that thing goes across the back in here. Hold those in. So it looks to me And a new bolt too, sweet. It looks to me like I just gotta take take those slides out. That's my guess. So drive those out and drive the new ones in. I am surprised that they came painted. Pleasantly surprised. Alright, I guess we'll get to it. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking off the Brake hose, it's 9 sixteenths, and we just put it on like two days ago. So we shouldn't have any trouble. Looks like the new caliper comes with a new bolt. The hose sure didn't come with a new bolt. So, let me get that off. on that side, huh? No washer on the other side. I don't think there would have been a washer there. Anyway, I'm going to stick this up here for now. Maybe. Let's shove that up there for now. So the next thing we're going to do, and do this without hitting my camera, I'm going to tap these out. So they say, And we got one on the bottom as well. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to film that. So. Anyway, drop the two pins out. Okay. Alright, so there's the pins. Surprise, this one is... Looked like it was hollow when I was pounding on it, but I guess they aren't. There's that. Now this should this should come right off. So let's see if it does. Say to stick a screwdriver in there, but I didn't bring one with me. There we go. Well, there was a washer on there. Yep, there was a washer on there. Good. All right, so now we've got. <laughs> The old one and the new one. Looks the same to me. No 
bearings feel tight. I got something rubbing. Shocker, it's rust. Anyway, I'll clean that out. <clears throat> clean this up a little bit. Come back when I'm ready to start putting stuff in. Okay, so the new, the new caliper comes with all new bits. So, I guess the next thing to do is to take this off. Take the pads out. I guess I gotta flip it over for that. Try not to get pads contaminated with fluid. So it looks like these like that. And I think this one. out pretty sure that this one has to go in first goes that way it goes that way and this clip has to go back in it looks to me Here, right? Here and on this side. Went in like that. So basically, tree again. I'm pretty sure it was out of frame. This goes in there. You just bend it in. And on it goes. It's not worth saving. And neither is the rust I took off. This is ready to go back in, and I'm going to use the new bolt. Jeez. I'm going to use the new bolt and the two new washers. Even though these washers are brand new, they were crushed once, so probably be a good idea to replace them. a decent view. If the video goes blank and skips to the next scene, it's because I couldn't get you a decent view. pins back in. Why they said the video I just watched said this has to go up. This one has to go down. But it didn't say which which way was up and which way was down. I thought it was one piece. definitely skinny around one side I don't know I'm guessing the point goes to the top but it's guess let's try it, it means this one will be a point to the bottom that's right yes I'm using punch backwards okay a little 
swamp stop is out the back. So that shouldn't fall out. So I really hope I put that on. It is moving. Must have. It's got to be right. We're running with it. We're going to run with it. All right, next I got to put that banjo bolt back on. There's no way to get you a good shot because my hands are going to be in the way. Oh, anyway, that is going back on there. And then we can get on to bleeding it. On to bleeding. If you don't have one of these, you should. Mine's a little dusty because I was doing woodworking in the garage. I didn't put it away, but it doesn't matter. And on the top of this, it says this side goes to the bleeder valve. to get my wrench on. And then this side goes to the pump. Sorry, I'm focused on what I'm doing here instead of filming. I'll try to do better. valve open. The hose just fell off. That's lovely. Okay, let's try a different hose. different setup. I, my hose is stretched out. I hate it when that happens. Now, I should be able to pump a vacuum. Starting to get some fluid. We're getting a lot of bubbles. You can see them on, on camera. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this and I'm going to go in and I'm going to push the pedal so that the uh, calipers come in contact with the rotor. showed up on camera later. Okay, so I got that let's get our vacuum going again. Hopefully 
Hopefully these tightened up. This would be where you stop, but I have to do the other side, and then I have to take the massive cylinder off anyway, so I'm not uh, going to be overly picky with this process. I got some in there. So I guess the next step would be spray everything down. So that brake fluid doesn't eat all the paint off that new caliper and then uh, move on to the other side. I also painted that, I don't know. I don't like the silver. I pulled in today, nosed up to the side of this and looked at the silver wheels. I don't like it. I think they're going to go back to black. So, no, there's one side done. Rinse and repeat on the other side, and uh, move on to the master cylinder. Fun, fun. All right, so I got the new calipers on both sides. <clears throat> Getting that wheel off was ten times harder than the first one. Traffic, I swear. So I went to put the new brake cylinder on, master cylinder on, and they sold me one that didn't have this port. So I had to go back, take that back, and um, we're on to plan B because I don't want to wait another week for the parts house to get it when I can have it shipped here directly in half that. So we're moving on to bleeding both sides, and I already showed how I do that. So. There won't be any brake master cylinder changing in this video. So, that's it for this one.